Hi, this is a training video for project sponsors that do not have login access to the SAM recovery portal. The SAM recovery portal is intended for lead entities where they can do their project planning and reporting work. Not all lead entities allow login and access to the SAM recovery portal. But we can use the public side to gain some information about the project in the SAM recovery portal. Simply go to srp.rcl.wa.gov and we can use the search and map tools. You can use a search tool to search by project name, project number, a list of the results will appear here and you can export this list as an Excel. Include other search terms such as lead entity, project status, and the search options below. Now, if I'm interested in an area of interest, I can use the project map. Zoom into my area of interest. And then for this particular example, we're going to look at projects by sponsor. And I'm going to scroll to King County. And make that selection. All the projects here are affiliated with King County. Now, if I'm interested in projects that I may put forward in the 2024 grant round, I'm going to look at the planned and proposed projects. Use the layer list to determine the planned and proposed. Now, if I want to list the projects, I simply click list projects below map and it'll give me a list that I can export as a tabular export. But if I want to dive in and look at any one project, I can simply click the details link and it'll take me to the details page for this particular project. Give me a description, who the project contact is, etc. Now, if this were a project that I was planning on putting forward for the 2024 grant round, we're going to need a little bit more information. Go to the documents page to view the additional information for the 2024 grant round. A PDF will appear starting section five. The requirements include project name, temporary ID number. The PRISM number will come over once the project is sent to PRISM through the lead entity process. Project type, status, plan or proposed, start date, end date, project summary, total project cost, including match. Funding organization RCO, in this case, in any one of these funding programs, requested an amount to the program, and the sponsor and a project contact, including a valid email address. Now, the valid email address is important because once the project is sent to PRISM, the project contact will have received a, a link to the application and the PRISM ID number to complete the application on the PRISM side. While you're looking for projects in SRP, keep in mind that projects that do not have a location will not appear on the map. Additionally, projects that have been requested private will also not display on the public side. To help you upload projects that may be new to the SAM recovery portal, Lead Entity may have an upload template to assist you. Now, if you're interested in an SRP account, you can reach out to the data team at prismaccounts at rco.wa.gov, and we will get confirmation from the Lead Entity, or you can reach out to the Lead Entity directly. And that's it. Thanks for watching.